Welcome to the last part of fall. This is probably going to be the longest part of the LP, just because there was no good place to split this up. First off, we made bank at the races, so let's spend half of the money just on lumber. Oh yeah, that's right. Your quarter million playing the ponies. Yep. Gots is very happy today. Sure. Buying all my wood. And once you've bought a crap ton of lumber, you can also buy golden lumber, which is just a waste of money. You don't use it for anything. You can put it on your farm as fencing, and it never rots like regular lumber would during the rain. But it costs so much money that's not worth it. In the original game and in Harvest Moon DS, if you put golden lumber on your farm, the townsfolk would get mad at you <laughs> for like flaunting your cash, but they don't do that anymore. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Why not? I mean, obviously you're underpaying, uh, you know, an exploited workforce. So why not go full capitalist? Person I feel the worst for is whoever has to clean up all of this confetti. Oh. Especially all the confetti in the animals now. Mm. Oh, and you just know that sheep's eating it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You know, for the sheep. <laughs> I forgot about the rabbit noise. That is way better than the noise rabbits make in real life. How's it going, Bunny Bun? <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. But he who has not choked on a hot dog in the Costco parking lot cast the first stone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back when I used to work at a grocery store, there's a hot dog cart set up outside. Um, super good, actually. This is, I ate a lot of those dogs. Pretty good. Never choked on them because, uh, you know, I'm smarter than a rabbit. Uh, Mr. Tittles. <laughs> See, this is good, right? You know. It's it's a celebration of how fluffy the animals are, and um, there was no blood sport, which I yeah. really like in an animal festival. Yeah, <laughs> guts. <laughs> Keep the change, big guy. <laughs> All right. Harvest Goddess has probably got a still under there. Speaking of which, oh. you summoned her. There we go. So yeah, I needed to get out of there just in case my moonshine still exploded. In case the cops got wise and I had to hot rod it over the border to Canada. Um, Skippy? Huh? Oh, no, what I mean is you'd have to go, like, south and then back north. Right. Oh, is that how is, it works? Is how, yeah, because they're not allowed to follow you across the border, so you just, you know, you neener at them <laughs> for a little bit. And then they give up, they get real mad, and then they give up, and then you, you cross the border again. Well, this is a sentence that I never thought I'd say, but uh, can you shave a pregnant sheep? <laughs> so this is different. Apparently they're getting along with Cliff so well, it sort of mended their marriage. Huh. Okay. Well, good job. Also, it is totally temporary, though. She does eventually start going back to the plaza. Well... A leopard can't change its shorts. <laughs> a leopard can't change another leopard's poncho. It's just not right. Just ask Cliff. No, oh, that's weird. That's a weird relationship to have with your employee. It's very strange. It's too much. Just sign the checks. Seriously. And they're even admitting he's just a replacement for their daughter. Uh huh. You have. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> it's fucking weird how self aware this game is sometimes. <laughs> oh, look at this. All right. 
That big space is for the bigger bed, which you need to get if you want to get married. Um, thanks, gods. So, just dump your shit on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing, it's the same in this and a bunch of the other games. The big bed does not replace your current bed. You just move it to the side and you sleep in your old bed and your spouse sleeps in the big bed. <laughs> what? Yeah, that is that weird? <laughs> I'm a single guy, so I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what married life is like. Personally. Yeah, your spouse sleeps in the big bed with, you know, all the dogs and cats and whatnot. And then uh -huh. 10,000 pillows and shit. Yeah, you get a futon mattress on the floor for yourself. Oh. Really seem... Yeah, they like it. Oh. Maybe a little too much. Now you can see my little eyes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, I knew the answer. It's about three days. I forgot it, so I said the wrong thing. Uh-oh. And, and that really bums them out. So I'm actually glad I chose it, because fuck Rick. All right, you assholes. You want to put me on the spot like this? Let me tell you how long it takes. It takes as long as it takes for a little guy to come out of that egg, all right? Now shut up. I don't even remember why I came in here. Oh, what a bunch of dickweeds. <laughs> For fuck's sake, I, just, I think I just want to buy some feed. Too bad we're having drama today. It's okay, maybe Lilia will be dead soon. Well, he gave me Karen. Good old Karen. You know, it's just nice to see Sasha happy with where she is, because I remember her from Harvest Moon 64, and her life sucked. Unreal. Fucking God. Nope. And with Jennifer now. Uh, this is also like the longest fucking cutscene, too. Yeah, this is like the third time I've come in here. My chickens are dying. I'm dying. Everyone is dying. Oh, God, what'd you do with the rest of her? Oh, you make your homemade potpourri, do you, Jennifer? Amazing. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're surprised that she makes her own fucking potpourri out of wildflowers. <laughs> Oh, not wildflowers, byproduct from my friend Isabella. Of oh, course. <laughs> it's water, it's bottled water. Will it transport me away from this conversation? No. I really hate the way that Jennifer's written. I just, I really do. It is so stilted. You just want to whip a water balloon at her or something. <laughs> Throw one of her potpourri back at her. Jeez. Was she written or did someone just hit refresh on Inspirobot a bunch? <laughs> Let me tell you, when I had arguments with my sister growing up, it wasn't because I felt affectionate towards her. Yeah, I'm going to say. It's because she was pissing me off. Right? It's not It's not that you felt, you know, free enough to express your true feelings. It's because they're a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. Just wanking every cutscene. <laughs> I hate her so much. <laughs> Can I please buy some chicken feed now? Can I please buy some chicken feed? Happy birthday, asshole. 
Here's a raw egg I had in my pocket since 8 a.m. It's gonna take about a week to hatch. Dick. <laughs> You're starting to be familiar face. Girlfriend. Yeah, that's, um... That's nice. Sudden red heart. Oh. Strange feeling, huh? Could be indigestion. <laughs> I think stamina booster is another thing you don't need to give to the harvest goddess. It'd be weird if you did. She's really fired up. Hasn't slept in three days. Got really big into streaming Minecraft. This is a little goofy. Why are you in my house? Oh, it's not just her. Why are oh. you in my house? Oh, no. Why are you in my house? Did you guys start a coven? Is this an intervention? Are you guys going to do some witchy business here? I don't remember if this was in the GBA games. <laughs> Let me just say, it's a little more awkward when everyone's by. <laughs> are, are you having a harem dream? <laughs> <laughs> it's what it feels like, right? <laughs> and it's a really stupid harem dream, too. <laughs> Look at Red. She's... <laughs> There's another bed. Two people can fit in that one, too. <laughs> had plans. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Uh, probably the funniest thing that I've ever seen in one of these games. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. I am going to hang on to one yarn ball for an event that happens in winter. Uh, yes, the annual Mineral Town stitching bitch. <laughs> <laughs> How's that literally any different from what the town ladies get up to on a daily basis anyway? Um, they knit socks at the same time. Ah, makes sense. Thanks, gay bye. Demanding little punks, aren't they? Also, Popery shows up because she's a woman child. She was always like this. She would do this in the other games, too. I... She's just a massive weirdo. <laughs> and in this town, that's saying something. Let's have you upgrade the coop. We're building a co-op so all the people from town who profit from our laborers can come and help, right? What even the fuck is that mailbox? That's a weird mailbox. It's weird. Skippy, I think it was you who joked that we could buy a mailbox that's just a sprite with his mouth open. It looks kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd still stick pumpkin on a pole. <laughs> Own wide, little guy. My stomach is a portal. I would do literally anything for my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Cause of death, Valpac coupons. <laughs> they won't stop sending them. Wait a minute, is that a catalog? Who still uses paper catalog? <laughs> <gasps> Here's a little something for that chest trouble. It's a bubble that needs to be popped. <laughs> yep, psych. I just got you here to clean out my drains. With this blue feather. Yep. It's real stiff. You can just kind of swirl it around down there. That's right, Marie, my love. I would like to invite you to take the big bed. By the way, Marie, can you take this engagement ring and just scrape the paint off of the wall for me?
They'll be very shocked. I show up to the house every single day. Well, that was weird. That was a weird episode. <laughs> yeah. That was a weird episode and a super quick proposal. Yeah, there was a lot of relationship weirdness in that one. Mana, Duke, and Cliff, me and Marie, the slumber party. I, whatever that was. Whatever weird witchy biz was going on with all the, the town ladies dropping by in the middle of the night. Oh no, they drew curse runes in my bed. Oh, is that? Oh. Ha, Marie, I don't sleep in that bed. You gotta live with it now. Ha 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 ha. You get the curse bed. <laughs> Hoisted by your own summoning circle. Well, if that's your attitude, maybe you should get on having God spilled you a doghouse. <laughs> I think what we should do is we should just stuff Yammy underground. I guess that's a good place to stop. I guess. What the hell did that mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to the first winter. Uh, stick of butter for breakfast. Winter has such gentle music. And I need to post this somewhere. I can't not hear the melodies to Is This It by The Strokes and Kung Fu fighting in this song. Can't you see I'm trying? I don't even like it. I just slide to get to your apartment. Now I'm staying there just for a while. I can't think because I'm just way too tired. I forget. Is it established that nobody else can see the sprites? Pretty much. So we don't know if the animals can see them, so there is just... <laughs> ah! Like, ah! they're just standing there, then invisible brushings. Well, that's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, your chickens actually laid double eggs, but I stepped on them. They just wouldn't stop rubbing up against me. It was weird. Well, I guess I will like some fodder. <laughs> <laughs> First, I don't want to sound weird, but uh, send a little bit of that brush in my way. <laughs> now, I had mentioned a long time ago, the very easiest way to level up your tools is to just find a place and just use your tools. You could do that indoors. Like, you could just do it in your house. But there is this underground lake... And you need a super leveled up fishing rod to catch anything here. And there's only ever going to be one thing, which I don't even know if I'll get to, but the game does have like kingfish. Mm -hmm. There's one of them in this lake. But what I chose to do for this place is to grind every single tool to max. All right. Way to go. How long did that take? Oh, God, an hour, hour and a half. Well, that's not too bad. Just like every four or five swings, it goes up a percentage. Oof. It doesn't take too long, but you're going to spend a while on it. Honestly, I think I was going to level up the hammer no matter what in this run through. It's like I'm trying to dig through the water. And there we go. Now I can level up all of my tools to mithril. And I want to do that before winter is over. If you're going down through the lake mine to find the Kappa Jewels, to find the really high level gemstones, what you want to do is save on the level above. This is another reason to meticulously find those ladders so that you can save once you've found the ladder, go down, dig around, try to find the jewels, the gemstones, etc. If you don't find it, you can reload and then that will reset the floor and you can dig around and try to find it again. If you don't do that, there's a chance that you'll end up wasting an entire trek through the mines on something that isn't there. This was one of a few ways that I cleared out the levels. I'm trying to find this specifically for level 30, pink diamonds. Regular diamonds are worth 100. Pink diamonds are worth 10,000. What? That's yeah, like 5% of a day at the races. All right, level 50. This is where we're going to get another super rare gemstone. The thing about level 50, though, 50, 100, 150, 200, etc. That rare gemstone is the only thing you're going to find here. Oh, no kidding. I don't even think there's a Kappa Jewel here. 
No, uh, not according to the wiki. Just empty rocks. Just a lot of empty rocks. I was going to say every 50 levels there's a boss fight. <laughs> Here it is. Feels like it. Hey, here we go. Alexandrite. That's also worth 10,000 gold. I managed to find a couple of them. Alexandrite and pink diamonds have a, a super low percentage chance. A zero point, like, um, yeah, a 0.8% chance of being there. It's, uh, pretty low. Very low. <laughs> and you found four. <laughs> yeah, this was a really good run. I'd be doing a little sassy dance, too. But let's just make bank. Oh, yeah. And actually because of hard work and not because of rigging the races. 49,000. 49, so, so a whole ass day of toil and labor deep underground, and you made a fifth of what you made on the ponies. <laughs> this is why people gamble. <laughs> so uh, Thomas is a jackass. <laughs> he makes a bet in winter, I think on winter two, he makes a bet with another mayor that he can get that mayor something. So he comes to you because he can't. And that item will be randomized. If you don't have that item, you need to reload the day. Assuming you want to help Thomas or not. He can ask you for a Matsutake. He can ask you for a rare flower. I think he can ask you for like a diamond. Shit that... If you don't have, you just need to reload, see if you can get something better. Unreal. So best I screwed up, and I bet that I could get a hold of something that's way out of season. And I think... <laughs> Lemon, I swear, you better stop annoying my animals with that flute. Toot. You, oh, I swear, you stop tooting that flute, young man. All right, Tom. Hi, Thomas. Hi, yes, thank you, Chomp. <laughs> but as thanks, he gives me gold lumber. Yay. <laughs> I guess the only thing I do is just put it here. Oh, look at you, you bourgeois. Oh, God. Look at your gold log. Thorn misses money bags. <laughs> Ugh. Woohoo! Well, somebody's doing well for themselves. Thorn bank. Showing off to the whole internet. I want to get Ellen's friendship up. Before she dies. Before she dies. Oh, boy. These two again. I'd like to buy essential supplies without getting roped into your idiot family drama, but, you know. I'm afraid they don't go on sale until you do. Mm. Jeff, if he tries to sell you apples, just politely decline. No, no, I want to buy a spare apple. I need a replacement apple. This one disappoints me. <laughs> so you don't see it, but apparently Jeff is a painter. Okay. I'm sure it's not too much excitement for him. <laughs> well, no, I mean, it makes sense, right? He's, you know, riddled with anxiety. He's got a sour tummy and he never produces paintings. It sounds like an artist to me. <laughs> You're saying that just reminded me of the video of the guy who painted a yellow picture while screaming at it. <laughs> not damn long. Damn, counterfeit apples really bring in the money. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm actually allergic to money. I don't have this ulcer because of my family. It's because I just really shouldn't be running a store. My ulcer. this dear you've made us 10,000 gold poorer you're wonderful yeah we got back to work you got 10,000 gold to earn 
I mean, I guess I appreciate it. I mean, it's about time, you know, good old Jeff started showing some spine. That's his next painting. <laughs> it's my spine. I found <laughs> it deep inside. Now, this event happens with Cliff, whether he's staying in town or not. No, he dies. Weird. Okay, but why are you holding on to that gift certificate to Petco? <laughs> she looted it. It's hers. Why did I go to everyone who knows Cliff before I went to the doctor? Now, he's going to be here at the clinic for a few days. You need to have the photo in your inventory to have the next part of the event with him. So, kind of abrupt. So I guess finally we're gonna we're gonna see just what Cliff's deal is. What traumatized him so deeply that he turned to religion and also winemaking. We'll learn a bit about that, yeah. And once we're in that pit of angst, we're gonna have our wedding. Hooray! Yay. Even Cliff's tragic backstory can't ruin our special day. Well, I mean, rental fees for the hall and whatnot are a lot cheaper in the winter, so good planning on that part. Really, yeah. I mean, who the hell needs a June wedding anyway? Really, we needed to get it out of the way so that his angst doesn't ruin our marriage. Oh, his angst will ruin your marriage. Do you not know anything about Mineral Town? It's like an octopus that just keeps dragging you into this hideous drama. And you've married into it. Congratulations. So we're going to get married in the, what, the reindeer outfit, the jammies. <laughs> Ooh, cow costume. Yeah, let's get married in the cow costume. I would if you got a choice. Swear to God, nerd weddings are the worst weddings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nerd weddings are awful. Yeah. The only nerd convention we have was our processional was the Wind Waker theme. Uh, don't don't sweat it. My uh, my buddy walked down the aisle to the fucking theme from Morrowind. <laughs> so. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Big horse. Big, Big horse. horse. Somebody gave our buddy a bandana. Yeah. yeah. Look at him. Right, boy. Huh. Hey, Zach, look at my horse. It's big now. Zach. It was small yesterday. Today it's big. Yeah. He was just a baby. But now he's not a baby. Always be riding the horse. Especially if you want to win the horse races. Bring the horse into the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot the better, Van. Everything's fine. I'm engaged to a weirdo. <laughs> I wouldn't want to marry a normal girl. No. Where's the fun in that? Then you'd be subjecting a normal person to you. <laughs> <laughs> in your fucking reindeer suit. Yeah, glass houses. I mean, cough, cough. I've forgotten how to sit. He's trying to be really casual, but he did it. <laughs> he did it completely wrong. He's trying to do the thing where he sits and he flips the chair around and sits on it backwards. <laughs> Except he's just got his legs hanging over the armrest. Doctor, are you stuck? Yep. <laughs> I think you should be moldy by now. How did you know? Was it the giant piles of turds that I've been leaving through town? <laughs> Excellent egg. Just, just an absurdly good egg. Mayonnaise milk. Be pretty good. Make a mayo smoothie. <coughs> <Ugh. laughs> <laughs> 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 Even you couldn't hold that one down. No, 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 no thank you. <laughs> it's a little rich for my blood. <laughs> With all the mayonnaise, it would be. Absolutely. You'd be able to spread me on toast. Ridiculous. This is how I spend most nights in winter. Because after 10 p.m., I can't go down in the mines. I lose fatigue too fast. Oh, I get it. So I just ride around on the horse. Yeah, okay. Marie's definitely the normal one in your relationship, <laughs> yeah. then. She might write fanfic, but only she doesn't stay up all night riding the horse in circles. 
is, is, is best a horse girl. I think so, yeah. <gasps> oh, wait, what? Wedding day. Where the hell did all those bells come from? There is no way in hell this church has got a carillion. <laughs> Sounds like they just took some up to the top and threw them off. Bride fight, bride fight, bride fight! Yeah. It's crazy that you both wore the same thing. It's embarrassing. One of you has to go home and change. <laughs> Well, it's going to be me, and it's going to be another cow costume, so deal with it. There you go. That's for the honeymoon. That's uh, that's a real monkey's paw right there. <laughs> so one of us will have to go and change. Oh, go and change, you say? <laughs> Marie, do you want to spend all night riding the horse? I'm going to get the cow costume with the extra big udder. <laughs> Preferably on Mondays when we're all off. At least the parents don't hate me. Ah, Marie can't see where she's going. She's doing the early 2000s college rom-com thing where she takes off her glasses and is secretly hot. Uh, game's over. Cool. GG, everyone. GG. We did it. Please enjoy the static picture of the side of our wife. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. The credits now show screenshots from a lot of the heart events that we had with Marie. They're all the worst shots I could have chosen. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I want to go work for Cubic Egg Company. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they do. Uh, they appear to be Vietnamese. I think they probably just keep really uncomfortable chickens. I'm clicking on the pictures. Do I need to do something? No, that's just <laughs> how it looks. So what's the deal with rolling the credits here? Is it that life ends at marriage? Yeah. What's going on here? Yeah. This is just how it's always been with Okajo Monogatari. <laughs> that's that's your end game. They got to put the credits somewhere and they don't have a story, so they just put it at the wedding. Yeah, OK, fair enough. Suppose if that's the end goal of your life, good for you. These are <laughs> these are kind of haunting now. It's just all pictures of Marie standing sideways from the camera. Right? Like they were kind of taken without her knowing. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's this part of the uh, phasmophobia crossover. Maybe it's supposed to imply that her life was really empty before me. Somebody burned some sage. Apparently creepy ghosts are allergic to cultural appropriation. <laughs> Maybe it's because they didn't take any screenshots with the player character. Oh, or at least this player character, so they can't show me. Just in case. Ha. Huh. Who's taking these pictures? I can't stop thinking of that part in Final Fantasy 15 where you got to pick like a photo to take with you to remind you what you're fighting for. <laughs> <laughs> you can do some really fucked up stuff. <laughs> Bring a picture of a cup noodle, I think, is a <laughs> is a favorite one. Nice picture of Prompto getting his skull dashed in. Yeah, absolutely. You know, an Adam Antoys stepping on a guy. <laughs> what am I fighting for? Keeping these idiots alive. That's right. This is for you, Prompto. You weird, you weird punk guy. Biggest fucking goober I go back and forth on whether I like or not. How can you hate Prompto? Come on. Should play that again now that it's good. Or maybe not. Who's got the time? There hey, we go. look hey. at that. I don't know for sure. I feel like the people in the back. Uh, I don't think I'm that good friends with Harris, so maybe not. But 
It felt like the people behind you in the wedding are like your friends, people you have your friendship up with. But it, it might just be all the townsfolk. I'll say someone do a run where you don't make friends with anyone, just marries one person. Nobody comes to your wedding. Not even at a church, it's just a civil ceremony. In the barn. I feel like that's what a wedding with Kai would be. <laughs> I love the guy, no one else does. No. <laughs> the hell you are! <laughs> I'm taking the big bed. Try and stop me. Oh, I wonder what the patrons picked. <laughs> I don't think I asked them. Tell me there's something stupid, like Animal Crossing levels of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Tenderfoot. <laughs> <laughs> you can choose one yourself. I went unoriginal, so just from best to bestie. Should have gone with Tenderfoot. <laughs> <laughs> you should have suggested it before I recorded it. Damn it! If only I thought. <laughs> Imagine waking up and your darling wife says to you, "Morning." <laughs> well, I got pregnant quickly, though. I was gonna say, I'm like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> Beef. Right. Not beef. <laughs> no, that would be veal. Hoors. Hoors. What? <laughs> I think the person who suggested it misspelled it, but I wanted to write it how they spelled it. That art's a reference to that old meme picture of her I'm a horrors. <laughs> oh, I see, I see, I see. I see. Okay, I wasn't sure what they were going for, if that was like Dutch or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's in our house. Ah, who the hell are you? Oh, you're right. <laughs> the wife. Ah! Oh, hi. You're cute. You can stay. Oh! Oh, jeez. Are you a angel? <laughs> <laughs> ah, tears of mirth. Sorry, <laughs> Emmy. I find being married hilarious. That just means it's a good time. Sure. It is the way I do it. <laughs> but not. <laughs> How do Harris's cheeks sink <laughs> like that? How? What is his face structure? He must have hamster pouches. Yeah, it's where he keeps all the bribes. Ah, uh, I see. It's kind of an awkward thing to just bring up, Harris. Oh, Gots, I really appreciate you checking out the mountain, especially considering, you know, that your wife and kid died up there. You remember when they died? Bet that was bad. Hey, Bess, check this out. Guess what happened? Hey, Bess, did you know that Gots' whole family died on the mountain? He was really depressed about it, weren't you, Gots? I'm pretty sad when your whole family died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, best has married life. Is it anything like God's is? No, my wife is still alive. <laughs> yeah, look at the ultimate power! Extreme fishing. Oh, wow. Good no, guy! Big trout. Jeez. I'm gonna hang on to this guy because I think you need one of each size of fish to make sashimi. One of each size. Oh, what if I took this and cooked it? Slow down. What if I took this and put stuff on it? What if I took this? Put it down. Put it down. <laughs> Just put it down. Takes it out of Marie's hands. What if I took this? Yes, what if I took this? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Lazy fucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know why I don't bother being a priest in this town? It's because everyone's already so godly. So I don't give a shit. Oh, good. Maria is leaving space for Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Carter was right. Everyone is really godly in this town. I haven't had sex once. Children just appear. Uh, yeah. You just feed your wife a magic potion. Yeah. Give her the wife potion. <laughs> Looks like Marie's pregnant. She's got nine days left. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you talk to her and brush her every day. <laughs> well, her hearts are at max. I only need to talk to her to keep it up. <laughs> Lazy fucker. <laughs> and just remember, till she has the baby, you can't give her a haircut. That's right. Or get eggs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't believe this turned into a biology lesson all of a sudden. It's edutainment. <laughs> you cleave the world. <laughs> oh no! Everything's gone wrong. Rick. Rick. Oh no! <laughs> it's somebody's birth. I think it's Dudley's birthday, and I wanted to go here because there's actually a cutscene. So of course I got stuck between my horse and Rick. God. But if you just stand still, they'll walk through you. Where are you? I think he's in the back. There we go. Dadly is Dudley. No, I don't think he is. Look at Dudley with his baby blue eyes. Dad. It's my emancipation order. Punch that stash right off your face. At 9 p.m. Aw, Dudley. I was coasting up until now. You haven't seen possessive and overbearing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, throwing back a kind of large mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mayo smoothie. Mmm. Cool and refreshing mayonnaise. <laughs> this town is off its rocker. <laughs> yeah, this town is the problem. Marie won't touch your plate if someone else is watching. That's that's fine, actually. I've yet to eat dinner with her. Right? It's working out. Mostly still just wolf down a plate of curry rice next to my bed. <laughs> yeah. In the morning, and then I've starved the rest of the day. Then <laughs> just go ride the horse till 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, you can't put your grilled fish in the cabinet. <laughs> it's a nice surprise for your wife to find later. <laughs> it's my breakfast. Oh, my stars and garters, I'm an old lady. <laughs> I do wear garters, but they're for my teeth. Oh, but doing. Anyway, what do I have that my wife likes? Hold up, guts, guts, guts. You're putting up wallpaper. Why do I hear a saw? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are you doing? But I'll talk a bit about my setup. I've got as much of my inventory clear as I can, except for all of my stamina boosters. I want as many as I can. I am going to be doing a lot of the save finagling that I've been doing. And it's necessary. Mostly just get down, but also to, to preserve as much stamina as I can. But from level 29 through 79, I think, on every level ending in 9, if you dig around, there is a very low chance that I'm going to find something. Something very important. We actually read about it briefly. We learned about it in the confessional. 
cursed tools. These only spawn in the lake mines once you've fully upgraded all your other tools to mithril. The reason they're cursed, if you select them, you cannot remove them. Oh! And if you use them, it plummets your fatigue. Oh, jeez. Now, I th there are six curse tools. There are three pairs of them that you do the same thing to them to uncurse them. I think the fishing rod is actually, like, you use it 50 times, and that uncurses it, and you can take it off. Also, you can go to the confessional and have it removed there if you need to. But what I'm going to do, I've set up my tool bag so that all of my curse tools are off to the side and I've got a little barrier of tools that I'm not using. I'm, I only need to use the hammer and the hoe to get through the mines. So I have them set in the middle, surrounded by other things, so that if I cycle around in my tools just by pressing the button, I don't accidentally select a curse tool. Smart. This is just an extra thing. Between floors 101 and 120, there is a chance that you'll find a Kappa statue. It's a pretty high chance, though. It's pretty cute. Gotta put that in my house. Next to your weird chicken statue. <laughs> <laughs> it looks more like an actual Kappa than the Kappa does. Ignore that this audio is muted. I was listening to a podcast at the time and I forgot to pause it. <laughs> I do not blame you in the slightest. Nope. Shout out to my friends at Jukebox Zeros. I was listening to them. Look at all those pink diamonds. Yeah, we're at 190. We're at 200. And for anyone thinking, Thorn, you're cheating. Yeah, I cheated for like a total of five hours. <laughs> yeah, like there, there's no way around it. You're still putting a ton of time into this yeah. if you oh, want yeah. everything. It's one of those stupid things where it takes forever, but you're going to get there in the end, so it's like... What's the point of going through it? After a point, this was my tact for clearing out the mines. Just take a column of the mines, dig around, see if I find anything. If I don't, reload, and then start from the column next to it. Alright, final floor. Oh! It's a big floor. Yeah, she's a big one. I don't think there's anything specific to floor 255. There is in the spring mine. Down here, I think it's just fill your walls. Oh, no, there is the final Kappa Jewel. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Hooray. And the thing it gives me is technically a tool. The Kappa Treasure. As long as I'm outside, my fatigue will recover. Nice! Does that mean, like, you have to have it in your hand? Yep. And the goddess jewel that, that we get in the spring mine, that increases your stamina. So what I like to do with that one is equip it and then go in the hot spring, and then my stamina recovers double as fast. Come on. I'm going to get as much as I can before I pass out. And I think that's all I can do. Look at that hole. <laughs> that is... That is enough to make the beers blush. Woof. I don't know why I'm so cautiously hanging on to these. I think I sell most of them eventually. Just something to prove to the wife where you were all night. I swear, honey, I didn't come to bed because I was underground <laughs> digging diamonds. <laughs> 87 diamonds. Lordy. <laughs> Half a mil. Wow. Like, that was a lot of work for half a mil. <laughs> yeah. We are putting a lot of trust in Zach. Ugh. Honey, look at our new friend. I put it there so I could watch while you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game! <laughs> Marie, were you lying in bed waiting for me all that time? <laughs> oh god, what the hell? 
Oh, oh, okay. No, no. <laughs> there it is. It's fine. Welcome back to Friends of Mineral Town. In the last part, we went all the way through the lake mine and we got all the curse tools, so we're gonna be spending this part uncursing them. It is an extended process. Thankfully, for only two of them, is it really gonna take more than one day? Don't mind me, honey. I'm <laughs> just taking the cursed tools for a while. <laughs> honey, why is all that black smoke coming out of your backpack? Oh, you know, the evils of the caves. Okay, as long as you're not vaping. Yeah, they're poor. Oyster. Beef! I'd be delighted to know the rationale behind oyster. <laughs> I think the person was just suggesting that all the animals should be called different animals. Ah, uh, I see, I see. It's like... It's like asking a five-year-old for a <laughs> suggestion. It's just like, hey, little little shaver, what, what do you think we should name <laughs> our new bunny rabbit? Oyster! Why oyster? I don't know! Because I'm a little baby! All right, whipping out the curse axe, reminder... When you equip the Cursed Axe, you can't unequip it. That's one of the two things that's cursed about it. The other is it eats through your fatigue, kind of your stamina. Not much more than a regular tool, but they do count as the next level of each tool, so you can charge them up more. Sorry, did I did I blink and miss it? Did that chop every log on the map, or was that just clever editing? It chopped everything on the map. What the fuck? Pretty rad. Now, the axe and the fishing rod, you need to use, like, you just press the button and use them 50 times each. And then they're uncursed, and they no longer eat through your fatigue. The item descriptions say it's slightly refreshing to use them, which is just flowery language because it doesn't recover your energy or anything to use them. It does expel a, a minty scent. From the handle. <laughs> exactly. They're now menthol tools. <laughs> and all the money I made from digging last time has finally come in. <laughs> yeah! I've got my caffeine. I've got some cookies. <laughs> <laughs> You've become very strange. This has kind of been my diet for the last few months, actually. <laughs> like in game or <laughs> not in real life oh thorn just a lot of soda and sandwiches oh <laughs> sitting there whipping your fishing rod eating <laughs> cookies and sandwiches <laughs> ooh spicy <laughs> sandwiches there are a few spicy variant foods. Those also recover your fatigue. So let's make some more. I think there's even a unique animation for eating them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just Baja blasting Sriracha all over everything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make some mayo. Let's make some adamantine mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah. What kind of chicken or what kind of eggs are you getting? I'm talking cookie, I tell you. Whoa, hold on. Apples? What kind of foreign nonsense is this? <laughs> What kind of kooky shit? We don't truck with weird ingredients like apples here, okay? We eat grapes that grow on trees. Yeah, tree grapes. Oh. No, no, not again. Winter time! Ugh. Hooray! Honey, I'm adorable! Honey, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> Before noon. Every time you go to that mirror, I tense up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should point out to anyone listening, I'm in a new room now. Um, none of it's been sound treated, but then the last one wasn't either. But uh, if I'm extra echoey or anything, or you hear the loud noises coming from the garage, enjoy, I guess. Yeah, they've got seven raccoons trapped in there and counting. 
Thorne is now recording from a cathedral that is under construction. Why the nose? Like, does this suit really need the nose? All right, the confessional is open on Monday. Just saying hi. Hi. All right, here we go. So we got the hoe and the watering can. You need to unequip the tool, which costs a thousand gold each time to do it. But that's not a problem. At least not for me. You need to do that five times. But you can do that all at once. No, no, goddess. Stay there. I'll be right back. I touched it again. Car Carter, I keep touching it. I keep touching the watering can. Hang on, I forgot to touch it. Okay, Carter, I touched it again. I touched it. I did it again. There's a lifesaver in the bottom of my bag, and every time I go for it, I touch this watering can. And there we go. Real easy. After a while, you just don't say anything. You just slide a 10 spot through the window. <laughs> Holding your hand out with the watering can dangling from it like a stuck <laughs> hair. <laughs> I'm waving my hand like you can see this. Majima! <gasps> oh, shit. That's great. The little, little chick is just going to be waiting outside the window like, Kiryu-chan. <laughs> you need to Photoshop the chicken in everywhere. That's right. Just on the side of the screen as you're running by. <laughs> what you got for me, Van? <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> is that kind of like if I were to come here buy one of your oars and give it back to you <laughs> only this isn't going to increase our friendship here Van <laughs> eh. let's contemplate the infinite for a little bit <laughs> just staring at him riffling through the full meals in your pocket <laughs> let's see it's someone else's birthday and I closed the calendar too quickly to see who it was somebody likes veggie juice it's her hey hey wife <laughs> she's already in max but still veggie juice is her favorite so have some it's your wife's birthday get her something nice just saying you know, your wife's affection for you might be maxed, but eh, you should probably still make the effort. I mean, it took me so damn long to get the recipe for veggie juice. Holy jeez. I like to think that it was actually the Angora rabbit who was talking about how their family got a little bit bigger. <laughs> and they got to keep working. <laughs> Time to brush the sprites. Can I groom you, Blueberry? No, weirdo. I'm just gonna stand here moving this in a circle. Everyone walk by like a car wash. <laughs> At the car wash. Thanks, boss. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is over there with the weird squirt gun thing. <laughs> walk by her. Hi. Yep. Hey! Yay! The hell I haven't, Harvest Goddess. Weird of her to say, I have done that with the lake mine. I haven't done it with the spring mine, which is what she means. Oh, I see. So the elevator will be there for the lake mine. Cool, get back to work. Taste this mayo. Taste this yarn. Cybera, taste this mayo. You did this. <laughs> Man, that's disgusting, what is it? It's rabbit mayo. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, what, what weirdness have you got? Curry bread, 
I mean, that's pretty weird. Oh no, actually that sounds just fine. That sounds like drunk food. <laughs> Kinda. The bread's already made, though. Oh. Yeah, it's like cinnamon toast, except like garam <laughs> masala. <laughs> oh, now I want some cinnamon toast. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. Let's let's all go get some cinnamon toast after the show. Oh, after the show. Damn. Or just go get some now. I don't mind. We gotta record another part, though. Oh, right. Then I'm gonna forget, and then I'll feel like I've forgotten something, but I, I won't know what, and I'll have this wistful feeling the rest of the day. Just this this deeply unresolved <laughs> yeah. yearning. And you'll go to edit it, and you'll be... That was it. Cinnamon toast. Now I don't even want cinnamon toast. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so Starlight Night is just you go home at night, and you have dinner with your family. At least that's how it is when you get married. Get some cake and some wine. Like cake and wine for dinner? Yeah. She's an awesome wife. That's my kind of lady, actually. Also, I think you had like a big seafood paella for breakfast. Hell yeah. <laughs> my life is awesome. <laughs> I mean, you're living your truth. Now, Starlight Night, the funny thing is... That's what I got the stocking for. The stocking doesn't come into play until the night after, which is a little weird. Yeah, the wee family has their own not Christmas tradition. So I'm a little disappointed. I'm worried that something went wrong. But no, it's just the game's flag is weird. That is so precious. You're wearing your reindeer jimmy jams and your <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think Maurice leaves so far away? <laughs> You're disappointed that Santa might not have brought you a present in your stock. How fucking old are you? And guess who's Santa? Fucking Thomas. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> and what's my present? Okay, fuck. Fine. I guess where you can take it out of the wrapping. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a hint of hesitation. Just right in the box. Merry <laughs> fucking Christmas. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't remember that at all. Me neither. I was not listening. Yay, Uncursed Sickle. Yeah, it is. Six blessed tools. And speaking of six blessed tools, the harvest sprites, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Plum is not blessed. Fuck you, I'm blessed. He's more blurst. Aw, oh, man. I'm more blasted. Flavor blasted, maybe. <laughs> you got your spicy sandwich right here. Hey, that's my sandwich. Give it back. No, it's mine. <laughs> Jerk. You'll never guess where it's been. <laughs> In my mouth. Oh, you can keep it then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Third worst role-playing game I've ever played. <laughs> <laughs> Every role-playing game I'm part of is the third worst. <laughs> Split. Oof. That's the sound the suit makes when it's wet. Ah, uh, it's so squishy. Uh, it's never gonna get dry Not in the middle of winter. Now nah, time to squelch into bed. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're warm, Marie. She's going to find you frozen on the porch the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> so same deal with the cursed tools and the rare ores and all that that we saw in the lake mine. In the spring mine, the new ore that we're looking for only shows up very, very rarely at a super low percentage rate on certain levels. And there is also a new type of jewel to find, the goddess jewel. Like how the Kappa jewel, when we get all nine of those, the treasure recovers our fatigue while we're outside. The goddess jewel will do that for our stamina. 
But the new ore that we have unlocked is the Mythic Ore. Ooh. That is our last upgrade ore. It does not appear in the mine until you've uncursed all the tools. I was really hoping you would come in here, wind the hammer up all the way, and just blow everything up at mm. once. Sadly, that, that doesn't work with the mines. I really wish it did, though, but... Man, the game would crash with the amount of physics objects. That would just be, like... That would just be so broken. Well, not really, because, I mean... It still takes up a ton of stamina. It's still limited in what you can carry. Yeah. Well, keep in mind, you automatically pick things up so that you're just going to overload your inventory. Oh, so satisfying. Also, the more stuff you dig up and leave on the ground you don't pick up, after a point, stuff is going to start despawning. <laughs> so long, chicken trophy. <laughs> Plum goes here now. Oh, that chicken's angry. <laughs> it's the chicken sumo statue. It ought to be. Chicken is now second fiddle. I did it. Yay. I don't know why I did it, but I did it. I did it. It's time to eat it for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little ominous there, wifey. Snowball Wars. Oh, God, what? Um, what? Wow, this what? is a... Um. New Year's Entertainment. What the hell was that? Hey, big guy. Look at the size of it. That is <laughs> Look large. Look at the size of it. That is very big. It somehow looks even bigger when you're actually using it. There we go. I stocked up on curry rice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing I like better when I'm performing manual labor than eating just a big plate of curry rice. <laughs> there we go. We got to the bottom of both mines. And she says, yes, that's it. But there is actually something we can dig up on floor 255. And it's a weird thing for you to get. It's a slate with the recipe for ketchup. Ah, the ancient forbidden knowledge. Tom tomato seta stone. Tomato seta. <sighs> uh huh. Exceed must be stopped. I hate it. I mean, look, their new game is named Story of Seasons Poot. <laughs> oh my god, it is. <laughs> I mean, it. I've seen gameplay, it feels like a fart, frankly. Yeah, I don't know. Something about... about poot. Um... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> poot. <laughs> no, go on. So, something about poot, uh, failed to excite me, unlike poots usually do. Um, what? What? What are we doing? Are you... I... Hey, Ellie, I'm real fucked up. I'm still <laughs> fucked up. I, uh, uh, give me all the shit. I just need some energy drink. Just need... Just need my medicine for my back. <laughs> when you go to the doctor, he can actually check on you. This is completely pointless. You can spend 10 gold and he'll examine you. And what he tells you isn't useful, but I wondered what it would be like if I came to him with absolutely nothing. Take a guess what he says. Buy my book? Yep, you look bad. <laughs> Go buy medicine from us. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. I did all that for you. What a shitty doctor, though. <laughs> ah, I see, I see that you're exhausted and suffering from deep fatigue. Uh, you should have some caffeine. Just have a <laughs> coffee and get back to work. 
Skippy, I know you're Canadian, but are you familiar with the American healthcare system? Oh, that's really sad. <laughs> Except, you know, it would be like 5,000 G. Still making bank. Not too bad. Yeah. So, like, even understanding that, you know, you, you love a Story of Seasons game, how tedious is it <laughs> to... <laughs> to make that money. Are you having a good time while you're doing it, or...? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I mean... I... I do have it set up specifically for the Let's Play to, like, increase the efficiency. What an amazing TV show this is. Bong, bong. I, I feel like I would still be doing this playing casually, though. Hmm. Bong. This uh, this entire New Year's TV show is just a just a gigantic shit post. <laughs> exactly. There's like the snowball fight massacre, and then there's like forty straight <laughs> minutes of this guy just saying bong. Yeah, there's no bells. It's just a guy. It's just a guy. There's no bell. He's just like bong. The little the little brown baby chick <laughs> looks like a hairy egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They all kind of do. <laughs> it's just a hairy little egg sitting there. <laughs> That's positively brief by her standards. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could still feel all the blood drain out of my brain as she started <laughs> talking, but... It's been a hot minute since I had some soba noodles. Sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. It's hard to get around here. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure by the time it gets to editing, I'll be so hungry I'll order some. Like I did with the bibimbap. Oh, delicious bibimbap. So good. Was it good? Did it? It was good. Oh, yeah. I did also get some jampong, spicy seafood noodle soup. I was a little more into that, mm. which was really tasty, but I wasn't prepared for, like, everything. Like, all the huge ingredients. The, like, there was just a crab leg and a huge-ass mussel. There's whole shrimp. I was expecting that, but the mussel was, like, as big as my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Nice and generous. That is a perfect day when you get free food. And there we go. And we got some buckwheat flour so we can make soba at home. Yeah, just hand pull some noodles. No biggie. I um, I had a chance to, when I visited Japan many, many years ago, uh, went to a, a lady's house and made some, some soba noodles from scratch. It's pretty cool. Big old knife, chopping them up. Yeah, it, it is cool. That's funny, because in this game, you apparently make everything with a knife. Hey, I mean, that's, for once, authentic. <laughs> Here's the random event. Occasionally, the Harvest Goddess shows up, and she does a little mini-game. You can see on the TV screen her old sprite. She can talk to you through the television, huh? <laughs> Hooray! So lucky these first two are really obvious. If you can keep this going, which is pretty unlikely, but if you can keep it going for a really long time, you get pretty good rewards. This is a game that's like traditionally really popular with the uh, the criminal class in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Does the Harvest Goddess have a back tattoo, maybe? And my reward is more mochi. Thanks. Thanks, Harvest Goddess. I'll give it right to the wife. Here, I pulled this out of the television for you. I don't think Okonomiyaki uses mochi necessarily. No, it's like straight up just shit on the shingle. It's basically like Japanese nachos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's check out the ultimate watering can. The space it covers is impressive. You can't see it there, but it just doubled at the end. Let's get a better view. What? Oh my god. It's like 9 by 9 I think? Something like that. What? That is a lot of water. Girthy. And there was one of them where you, like, you just 
spun around and it watered everything. <laughs> Some fucking Peace Walker nonsense. <laughs> Peace Walker rules. More games should go for that. Seriously. Absolutely. Harvest Sprite Slingshot, please. Let's try out the Mythic Hammer. Fully maxed out, destroys every rock on screen. There we go. Cuts a footage of the Kirby Superstar Megaton Punch Challenge. <laughs> or just the buildings collapsing. Oh. Gots has built new field. And you had popcorn for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> You're a married adult. <laughs> popcorn for breakfast. A married millennial adult. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Hot damn. Thank you very much, Harvest Goddess. I let everyone go home because it was going to rain today so that we could have our tea party. Everyone in their seats? Best are you standing in the corner with a weak <laughs> cup of green tea? Where you belong. You may observe us having a tea party. Some more relaxed tea leaves. We're not far from being able to make our own, though. There we go. Relaxed tea leaves are weird. It's a bunch of random grass and a weed. <laughs> Here we go. Mythic fishing rod. The seven charge allows you to catch any fish from every one of the six previous charges. So it's basically catch anything. Except for the thing you want. Exactly. Invariably, even. Yeah! yeah. Mm, nice! Worth the effort. Mythic fishbone. And now we head to the beach, because in spring, I think with charge five, charge five minimum, we can catch a special item. Not that. Took me a while to catch it. Many hours later. Ah. Nice. I see. The branch. All right. Yeah, charge five. Specifically going for five is the best option, because with six or seven, you're probably going to catch something else. Here I got a letter in a bottle. This is a way to get another recipe. For french fries. <laughs> oh yeah. Now that I have a bunch of strawberries, I can finally make some fruit stuff, which all required strawberries. Oh good. Joy. Eight feet. It takes three apples to make an identical apple. Does that make any bloody sense? What am I doing? Am I chopping them into threes and gluing them together? <laughs> right? Like, is it some kind of gestalt apple? But there any actual egg in that recipe? Uh... Because he made carbonara with egg yolk. Oh, cool. So Cherry and Pumpkin are going to get married now. <laughs> Unless they're brothers? I don't actually know what's going on with those guys. Okay. Is it a severed head? Is this one of those grown-up Tupperware party things, guys? Like, I think he just gave me some caffeine. <laughs> okay, that you seem really happy. Have this coffee. Cheeky little buggers. That explains so much. Super caffeine. Hot damn. You, they want me and Marie to stay up late. Yeah. <laughs> All night long. All night long. That's right. <laughs> All night. Riding my horse all night long. <laughs> <laughs> Marie waiting for me, annoyed in the bedroom. <laughs> God damn, I need more pumpkin. I was just here. Mmm, <laughs> nasty goreng, delicious. Malaysian fried rice. It's the best drunk food I've ever had, actually. <laughs> oh, Lou. Have I? I've become intimately familiar with it. Happy little fairies that live behind the church gave me some.
Oh yeah. Good lord. Rapid deforestation. I think the blessed axe could already do that. It's a tree apocalypse over here. All right, now we can finally start farming palm oil. No, I got a better one. Ar Arborgeddon. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> pretty good. <laughs> I didn't realize that any of the guys would actually show up to the place, and I'm especially surprised to see that Brandon was one of them. Don't think that this has won me over, Brandon. I still think you're a dickhead, but whatever. Eat the box. <laughs> I'll eat this box of cookies. Well, that was a day. Yep. Sure was a bunch of hours all in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife is such a creep. <laughs> I just love that the game Iris is out and back in for that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, she knows me well. And I know her well. I was sleeping on a pile of cookies. Now there's crumbs in my underoos. Finally. Oh, hey, man. Oh, hey, man. We made it to the pet shop. Well, you have my attention. Oh, hello, baby. Oh, hello, baby. Hello, baby. It's so pa oh, that, that's just a cookie. Oh, that's still, it's a very cute cookie. Show me the, show me the kittens again. <laughs> it's a kitten cookie. Show me the kittens. I want to see the kittens again. They're just little babies. A hundred cookies for the babies. <laughs> <laughs> so each pet you can get is dependent on the season that Van shows up in. So in spring, it's little kittens. And the little bangle was was calling to me. His head is so round. <laughs> and his little little feet. So welcome back to the channel, fuckhead. Oh, little fuckhead. I love our precious fuckhead. Oh, you little fuckhead. <laughs> like the horse. I mean, dad used to call our dog shithead. And he'd respond <laughs> to it, so this uh. isn't that different for me. A Steve Martin fan, I see. Meow, baby, meow. Hey, fuckhead, you want this cookie? <laughs> oh, this cookie that's bigger than you? So my own guinea pig, young Lucas, you see, he's got these vitamin C supplement biscuits, and he loves them. Every time you walk by, he will mooch for his delicious biscuit. So this is very relatable. Also in that he's a massive fuckhead. <laughs> All of the pets are just different models of the same animal, essentially. So the kid and the dog and the other pets, a penguin and a capybara are all the same thing. That's fine. A capybara is just a hamster dog. Annoyingly, you can only buy one pet, and then you need to wait for it to grow up and prove to Van that you can take care of a pet before you can buy the others. Okay, that makes sense, though. Like, I'd be pretty suspicious if somebody kept coming by and buying animals. <laughs> well, cat didn't work, so give me a penguin. Are you are you eating them? Like, <laughs> pets are forever. I'm not eating them. <gasps> so here we go. You can bet on the other horses. And because it's my first race, they have no faith in me. My odds are very low. Holy good goddamn. They have no idea how well trained my burrito is. Why stop there? Why not bet the farm? Literally. Well, I can only hold so much stuff in my inventory. Oh, well. Okay, so... This depends on your horse's stamina, which is based on how much you've actually ridden them around. And again, you can't just, like, ride into a corner of the farm, put a rubber band on your controller, and walk away. You need to actually have the horse moving in order to increase the stamina. But once you actually get to the horse, you press the button, you start running. The more you press the button, the faster the stamina is going to drain. When it starts getting down to red, you slow down. Your horse starts sweating, you start losing speed. But the more stamina you have, the more you can push the horse and get ahead of everyone. So it's a balancing act of pressing the button. He might go down the red, but 
ease off on it, it'll go back to the yellow. Keep it steady, you should be able to win the race pretty easily. So we go back off. And there we go. Yeah, get their asses. Hell yeah! A handy win. And thus, a lot of medals. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that time again, boys and girls, <laughs> in between and outside. And you know what? I didn't do any cheating for that. Oh. <laughs> and one of our last two power berries. Yep, just one more left. Oh, yes. I'd like to exchange some medals for prizes. <laughs> Fill her up. <laughs> Literally every slot will be filled with brooches. A whole stack of brooches, in fact. <laughs> Broach me, hat man. And, um... You still have a lot of medals. Barely made a dent in my medals, so the next horse race, I don't even need to take part. I could just go straight to Thomas, load up, yeah. and go home. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> the game's pointless now. Are you hungry already? Well, let me tell you. Honey, sweetie, darling, baby. <laughs> Anything superfluous you'd like? Shall I buy us a robot? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a Corvette for each day of the week? Whew. Feels nice to be over a million gold again. Yeah. But then I remember, like, we need 10 million for the villa. Yep. Oh, God. What have you done? Not this again. Oh, horse. Oh god, oh, oh no. no. Oh it's baby. Gridlock. Oh, it's gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. Oh jeez. Mayor priest, child and horse. Oh no. This sounds like <laughs> the horse is asleep. <laughs> there we go. You need to wait for the NPCs to go through you. Holy jeez. Like I've been watching a few city skylines traffic videos and that that was pretty much <laughs> spot on. I'm pretty close to having a hundred eggs. Actually I think I'd passed a hundred eggs in my fridge. Now, don't you go putting them all in one basket or something. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? So close and yet so far. <laughs> Not even close at all. <laughs> in the meantime, let's get a weird mailbox. Honey, don't be mad. It wasn't even a panic buy. I've wanted this all year. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Guts. How you doing? Just trying to figure out how I'm going to work this out. It's the weirdest mailbox I've ever done. Yeah, why not? It's spring. <laughs> and spring's almost over. So how many chances am I going to have to wear it again? Weird mailbox for a weird farmer. <laughs> Conspicuously, my wife isn't here. Mm. Just a guy and his weird adopted adult son <laughs> hanging out at a bar. Just hanging out with my employee. He's only 10 years younger than me. Oh, hey. Hey, lovebirds. Ugh. This is awkward. Time for their perfectly normal, healthy relationship. I haven't had a single drop. Now a waterfall. Just having all the drops. Why are you asleep at eight? Are you a cat? Why haven't you left this house yet? <laughs> Bess is just sitting there like, oh, it's so juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Writing it down. She is filming this for the gram. Yes. 
This this is the the family drama that I thrive on. And I I mean for Grandma Ellen next door. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. She's getting too old to snoop. I'm finally at the age where I can't hear them. <laughs> <laughs> Looks amazing. Why is it following me as I like move around my monitor? Why is the mailbox on my other monitor? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Yammy? We're gonna be good pals. Just you and Mailbox. Damn, that sounds good. Yeah, it is. I'm telling you right now, I'm a big fan of Udon. I'm a fan of Udon. Yep. And dogs. How's it going? Yeah, too bad. Take your juvenile butthead kitten and <laughs> go fuck yourself in best <laughs> um the, the mailbox is in my room oh god <laughs> it still really annoys me that you need to grow pumpkins in order to make tempura what oh yeah I forgot about young fuckhead how's it going I've had like potato tempura. Cat, cat, calm down. <laughs> He's very excited to see his sprites. I'm trying to get his friendship up because, because of that actually. Harris has a crush on Adge, who's the girl who's moved out of town, so we don't know her. If you can get his friendship up to, I believe, eight musical notes, then late at night when you leave your house, he'll just show up on the farm and have a cutscene with you. So here's the cutscene. convince him to leave. <laughs> oh, God, Harris. Harris. <laughs> now is not the time. <laughs> I, I just, I don't want to be responsible for you, Harris. I can only see this ending well. Sure. Hi there, horse's ass. All right, new season, and I haven't caught one of the rare treasures you can get here. So at charge level six, occasionally you can fish up pirate treasure at the dock. Pirate treasure, I think, is worth 10,000 gold, so that's a good find. Did they swashbuckle a king? Did they swashbuckle three kings? <laughs> <laughs> I get hit with so many goddamn typhoons this season. Really nothing else to do except play with a cat. Well, back to bed. <laughs> Fulfilling and productive day. Oh, look, I was right. Ah, uh, called it. So I'm going to get two days worth of destruction on my farm. Well, maybe you got lucky and it missed the pineapples. Oh, phew. <laughs> when there's no music, like, it is two seconds of stress. Uh... Hey! Got pretty lucky, all things considered. Show off your fancy hammer. Oh, man, it just missed all of the pineapples. That is really lucky. No, don't talk to me. I want the last one. Damn it, Aqua. <laughs> Let's make some tempura udon. Yeah, that's the good stuff. And tempura soba. Which is... <laughs> I like that. Just put tempura on some soba. It's a whole other dish. Hey, look at that. You've done it. You knife gunned your way to a new recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these are new. In between spring and summer, 
I bought the DLC, which is just a bunch of costumes. Oof. Oof. Oh, come on, dude. No, come on. What is that sheep? What is that? No, I'm the disco sheep. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Dance with me, Marie. <laughs> Groovy. You look very top heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fluff. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> hey, Sonny. I've made some changes. <laughs> I dyed my hair. Then I permed my hair. And then I pulled out my ears really hard. It's a new style. Wow. Pink diamond, thanks. It um, goes with my costume. We have no concept of money. <laughs> we know you enjoy food. Here's a rock. <laughs> We also have no concept of cringe. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Mm, that's actually more depressing than silence. Let's let's leave that. <laughs> well, I'm going to put on my disco sheep jammies, put on some sad music and then go to bed at 7 a.m. <laughs> Surveying the damage, I uh, lost a couple onions. I think that's about it, though. I still did not lose any pineapples. Ho, ho, ho. Although you see here, using the maximum charge on the hammer can be useful for clearing out the rocks, but that also means all the empty spaces with like the onions that got lost, that also tamps down the ground. So if you don't want to do that, then take care of the rocks one by one. You had to, didn't you? Cows, hmm. Slab-like design? Slab? Nothing. No part of them is slab-like. Especially not these ones. He's an artist, right? <laughs> like, like a visual guy. Yeah, but he's not good at it. No, he's garbage. He's been carving the same chicken since we've known him. Like, ah, oh, yes, I love the spherical chicken slab-like design. <laughs> I had to dress up for the cow festival, too. Well, you know, I'm not even going to comment on your ridiculous <laughs> outfits anymore. <laughs> That's a shame, because I've got, like, three more. I just really appreciate the slab-like design <laughs> of your costume. <laughs> oh, ho! Check out the slab on that cow. Mmm. This one's got a real rough hide. Well, we lost. Whatever. She did her best, which is to say she showed up. Oh, she's just huddled over in the corner like, I am just no good as a cow. I don't really deserve this, but thanks. Well, you're very kind. Don't worry, your babies will do better. Ha ha! Time to live vicariously through my calves. Yeah, they're going out for varsity football. And first chair woodwinds. Yeah. Dog time. And you're a dog now. And pineapple time. Hooray. I'm really conflicted about today. <laughs> <laughs> a nice 1.6 mil. I think the nose is a little bit much. <laughs> Tiny cheese. So small. That's a very little cheese. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on! I'm frustrated for you. I can feel your anger through your menuing. I know that was because uh, the window wasn't active. <laughs> well, so you made a little over $100,000 in pineapple. But we saved one for Kai's birthday, of course. Naturally. And, uh, true to form for the weirdos in this town, it looks like they've set up the twister mat in the rainy beach. <laughs> oh, hang on. She's not done with the gifts. This is her very last gift that she'll give me. A house. <laughs> what? Here's some grass. And a house. Also, a beach house. Here's a vacation property. Is it typhoon proof? Thankfully, yes. Yeah. Doesn't mean I can leave during the typhoon. I'm not exactly sure where it is. 
It's down south. There it is. Kai, we're neighbors. Kai. Kai, we're neighbors. I live here now. The sad thing about all the houses you can get, you can't do anything in them. You can't decorate them. You can just save and go to bed. You have some tacky modern art and no wife. Where'd you sleep last night? At the beach. Were you drunk? No, I own it. I own a beach house. God gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I spent the typhoon at the beach house. Which is where you want to be during a typhoon. <laughs> yes, I, I want to be on a rickety property over the water. And this was a weird one, let me tell you. Hello, wife. <laughs> let us watch the sky explosions together. You just gently holding hands, watching this majestic display. She she turn, turns to you and says, So, are you ever going to, like, wash that dog suit? <laughs> And Vest just quietly goes, Bro. Big egg. That's... That's a big eggy. Big egg. <laughs> Excellent egg. So, uh, my condolences on the death of one of your chickens, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rough laying. <laughs> they just explode and just kind of peel inside out. <laughs> like... Around the egg. That's some fucked up situation where, like, the chicken is inside the egg. <laughs> I was inside the egg. <laughs> oh, no. It got worse. I didn't think it would get worse. Look, you're just a little yellow hairy egg. And more pineapple times. I actually had more guys to help harvest. Morning, honey. Peep. <laughs> peep, peep. <laughs> you're born of the dog suit, I know, so... Uh, gotta say goodbye to them now. Goodbye, pineapples. Well, they've made you rich. Made two hundred thousand dollars in pineapple. There you go, Skippy. Yay! Yay! It's cursed. The cursed summer. Damn it! There's not enough space to spell fluffiest. So it's the fluffest. Yeah, the fluffest. Fluff fest. The fluff fest. 2021. Fluff fest 2021 is actually uh, completely online this year. Since I, d I didn't give Zach a birthday gift last year because a typhoon hit. <laughs> Happy fucking birthday. Here we go. If you're married and your birthday comes around, your spouse makes you a meal. It's your your birthday? Is it Fuckhead's birthday? It's Fuckhead's it's birthday. Cat's, <laughs> cat's birthday. Bye, Kai. Then Typhoon hits and sweeps him up and sends him to another town. Off I go! Here we go. This is where you can fish up and fall. The ancient fossil. Oh, now you can complete the museum. Great. Sells for a hefty price, which is half of the pirate treasure. That whole night I could only find one, which was obnoxious. The rest I just kept catching eels. But luckily, I've got a beach house, so I can fish all night, go to bed here, and continue fishing in the morning. Literally the worst wife I've ever seen. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Annoyingly, your horse doesn't stick around, so I had to walk back. But I spent, like, the rest of the morning trying to catch more fossils. What I actually caught was a bunch of eels. So I went home. Right. Oh, you're not fishing the night away this time. I got all the fish that I need to make the summer sun. All right. Because I just want them. I don't know why. This isn't food. I can't eat this. This isn't yummy. You can. Just exactly once. It's not food. Cool. <laughs> it's just it's fossils in a ball. <laughs> just give me the ape fee. Just give me your stupid apple. 
I mean, look, look what else I wasted our money on. I bought all three limited edition Huang apples. The collection is complete, and now, now I can cook them. And if you put them on your NFC pad, you can fast travel, right? <laughs> and in they go. Bye. Harris, what are you doing waiting outside my house in the middle of the night with your cheeks deflated like that? Hey, Best, what's the restraining order? Hey, Best, what are feelings? I appreciate that Harris is taking this well. Yeah. I have a newfound respect for Harris. Good job. Anyway, now I know where she lives, so I'm off to go sit outside her apartment. Har Harris? Harris? Bye. Here's an apple. I'm bringing along a boombox and some Peter Gabriel. We'll see if that works. It never works. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. What the? What? Why are you all in my home? Where's my wife? Especially considering this definitely involves her. What? Um... Marie and I have been married for about four months now. At which point the harvest goddess will show up. Like if you're if you're same gender, you can't breed. So the harvest goddess will show up and say, "Hey, do you want to adopt one of these babies?" By one of these babies, she doesn't mean the harvest sprites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well yeah, then I guess I'll do it. Little plum is there. Wearing a baby bonnet, <laughs> holding a switchblade. <laughs> Pick me. Or else. Hey, fuck you. I'm the baby. And now we've got our own baby girl. Harvest Goddess, a question if you please. Where the fuck did you kidnap this baby from? <laughs> exactly. I have to tell my wife. Marie, this is going to sound really fucked, but... <laughs> <laughs> so I I said yes to a deal that might not have been the smartest move. Wait a minute. You did not ask me to name the baby. Fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> the gallant heroine, fuckhead. You can't name it after the cat. No, 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 no. Bigfoot! Bigfoot! She is an alien after all. Ah. Uh, uh, the best cinematic uh, universe expands. Ah, uh -huh, I see. So this was a prequel the whole time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that said smelled. <laughs> <laughs> and so from now until eternity, Marie is just going to carry the baby around. She's going to have some massively powerful upper body. And you know what? I need to dress a little more like a lesbian farm mom. <laughs> but, yes. There we go. <laughs> well, there we are. Where's the baby? I don't know. Marie, where's the baby? I like to think the baby is with her grandparents. But Marie, she says the same dialogue as the first year. So her parents are somewhere else on the mountain. With the baby. Hopefully with the baby. Hopefully with the baby. Okay. Worst babysitter in Mineral Town. Go. Cliff. Yeah, 100% Cliff. That guy's an idiot. No, I was gonna say Jennifer. He's like, no, it's it's cool. I just, I left the, the baby in the house with a, with a bottle of energy drink. Oh god, no. Duke. <laughs> She's like, Mana will make a token effort to look after the baby before she gets drunk. Duke will be drunk already. Duke will just tell the baby to start harvesting some grapes. <laughs> He'll try, try to employ the baby. So, a couple of things. One, the cat has grown, so it's a big kitty now. 
Congratulations. But that involved, I had some trouble dealing with the barn today. Yeah, that's how cows work though. They're just really curious about you and they don't see too well, so. I thought it was a bit of a rush. I mean, they're like lining up for Pokemon cards or something. Hmm. Little baby boom. She's a little twitchy. Oh God. Ah, um. the cow mask. <laughs> Hello? I'm having a day. Hello? So are the cows. Well, you know, you know what we've been calling them. Yeah! <gasps> yeah. Damn it, there's not enough space for sheep, so. Ah, oh, it's fine, the disco she, the queen of the disco. Gotta go with disco ship. Disco ship. Which is funny, it could, it could be like the disco ship. That's right, all aboard the disco ship. We're gonna boogie on down to Funky Town. Hmm. I'm a mother now. I've been considering taking up gambling. That's cool. I am not going to be entering the horse race. What? Because I already made a shit ton of medals last time. I don't need to. Oh, right. I forgot about that. You are such a bad <laughs> rich person. It's not their single-minded pursuit. It's because some tiny man on their back is whipping them in the ass. I mean, same. <sighs> Any of us who work for a living, I suppose. Load up. <laughs> it's 216, Thorn. You already know this. There you go. Annoyingly, I can't leave, though. I need to sit here and watch all three races before I can go home. Uh, you know, the races haven't started. Yep, don't care. I'm not going to make you all watch all three of them. This is the third race. You know what? I like Cobb. Sure, I'm going to root for Cobb. I didn't put any medals on Cobb, but I'm going to root for him. Go, Cobb. I love your salad. Cobb is actually doing pretty damn well. You look like the people's horse. Stick it to the bourgeois oppressors. Yay, Cobb. He had low stakes anyway. Do you think little 8357 wants a car? <laughs> Several cars. Young 8357 is going to be a piece of shit when she grows up. <laughs> hey, I'm going to kill him. I had to clip the audio from the commentary of the last time we did the Fluffy Festival because I kept laughing at Skippy's impression of the rabbits. Thank you. <laughs> it's just <laughs> gagging. Hey. At least your wife and daughter ain't dead. Well, thanks for raising the tone, Guts. <laughs> Good. They should get depressed so that they're cuter next year. Hey, large rabbit fur. What's up, big fur? Where was this two days ago? <laughs> Gives you three yarn balls. No, oh, that's four. Four. That's a Tetra yarn. That's uh that's the fable Tetra yarn. And popcorn for breakfast. You're a mother. <laughs> you are a parent. Have some pride. I want to enjoy my youth while I still have it. I'm gonna say popcorn for breakfast is a step up from what the typical early mother meal is. <laughs> I may. I'm a new mother. I'm responsible. I think the kids need a whole cake. Here you go. <laughs> Make sure you eat it all on your way home. Best, I don't want to tell you your business, but uh, when you came home, young young you, you know, my, my son, um, he vomited everywhere. <laughs> Just wondering if you knew anything about that. I think it was, it was a cake problem. I mean, it's the pumpkin jamboree. He's probably going door to door, getting as much. Who knows what else he's eaten? Oh, jeez. So, capybara season next time, huh? <laughs> Let's hope so. Big guinea pig? 
It needs to be sunny on the 15th, and it can't be a festival. I swear to fucking God, game. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm gonna lose my shit. I've been trying to get a new pet, and it won't- <laughs> the game just won't let me. Also, fuck fi no, fuck- fuck head. I almost got him fuck face. I wanna get it right. <laughs> He's at, like, five hearts right now. It's not taking him too long to get his affection up, but if he isn't at eight hearts by the 15th, I can't get a capybara anyway, and I gotta wait another year. <laughs> I want that damn large mom rat. Just the, the world's largest guinea pig. We have our own baby. So let's enjoy the pumpkin jamboree. What? Yes. <laughs> Ah, leftover cake for breakfast. Perfect. Yeah. Right. And to make sure the, the kid had a cake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whole cake for the baby. Okay, the 15th. It's someone's birthday, but that doesn't count as a festival, so as long as it's sunny. Unless it's my birthday. That is definitely a festival. It's Yammy Fest. Yeah. We all put on later hosen. Not, like, by any requirement or anything. It's just... No, it's just kind of the way it works out every year. Yeah. Middle of the month, I was like, more than later hose in a while. Yeah. Yeah. More than later hose. Then we all show up at the Straw Hat No offices and we're all wearing later hose. And it's like, ah, wait a minute. Is it Yammy Fest? And it's just, it's a whole thing, you know. You really <laughs> got to make your own fun when you do YouTube videos. Virtual Yammy Fest was really weird. Really sucked. Because <laughs> everyone's got their cameras pointed down on Zoom, and it's just really weird. <laughs> this is how I spent winter. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah? The first week of it, specifically. I went into the <laughs> mines, and just, I spent hours where I got, that's, I thought these parts would take longer to record, mostly because I spent so long in the mines. A day, like, it would, it would take me an entire day to go through there twice, maybe three times real life, like real time day, so but all of that was to build up money so I could actually buy the town villa. I ended up being able to do that within the first in-game week. So the rest of it is gonna be doing extra stuff. Luckily because I'd I'd gone through the mines completely and I'd made friends with the Harvest Goddess, I could just go directly to floor two hundred, clear that out of the Alexandrite, and then slowly make my way down. There's only a couple of levels where you really have to worry about pitfalls. I think that's floor two hundred and Floor 240. After that, every other, like, 210, 220, etc., those don't have pitfalls, so it's actually very easy to go through there. Do a lot of save scumming to go specifically for the diamonds and the pink diamonds, etc. <laughs> but it's just time-consuming rather than especially difficult. So your wife's in there getting dinner ready, and you're just running <laughs> in, filling up the backpack with candy. <laughs> you might be wondering, Marie does go to the library to work on certain days. What does she do with the baby? She just leaves it on the bed. The baby is too compact to be able to go anywhere. Now, I am going ahead and showing off some of the stuff that you can get from Van. You bring him Van's favorite, and what he sells to you is randomized. Usually it costs about a million gold. With safe scumming, I could show it off without actually spending anything, so... What the quiz book is, we come to the library, we go directly to the far left bookcase, and you're given 100 questions that you need to answer completely, otherwise you fail the quiz and you have to start over. These are pulled from a random list of several hundred different questions, a lot of them stuff you wouldn't even think about, so... What I just did was I opened... I found someone who had posted all the answers and just looked through them to get through it. I'm not showing every single one, I'm sort of going to, like, a few and then jumping ahead 25. A few jumping ahead. So let me get this straight. You buy this million dollar book, from some weirdo who set up on an orange crate on the second floor of a Holiday Inn, mm -hmm. and then take it to your wife's library and shamefully hide in the corner <laughs> and do the quiz. <laughs> I know this one by heart. The funny thing about this, because they're randomized, you will very likely get the same answer like five times. Pretty low chance. Good lord. These are like data mining questions. Yeah, pretty much. What is your mother's maiden name? Oh, you're not getting me with that one. <laughs> Again. 
See, this question is about a TV show that you cannot see until you bought the town villa because the villa gets different shows than the farm. <laughs> Ooh, satellite TV. Oh, you better remember this. Oh, come on. When is it? Yeah, there you go. Man, he told me it was every day. Every day's my birthday. The present I want is whatever you got in your wallet. Also got to remember, the shipping price questions refers to the base version of the game. If you're playing on seedling mode, it's going to be different than what you're used to. Oh, no. That's awful. That's so dirty. This is just referring to the pause menu, which is relationships. The dawn of time. I'm going to say, when was dirt born? <laughs> How dare you? Oh, I'm so excited. What could we possibly get from all this? It must be incredible. Well, was it? <laughs> I'm not even sure if I got like a farmer point for that. <laughs> Congratulations. I've never been angrier like this week. But this is why I saved Scum, because that was not worth a million gold. Anyway, let's go back and buy all the background music. I mentioned earlier in a caption, I had found out how to get all the background music. I thought, OK, I'm not doing that. Then I realized I don't need to actually save after I do it. I guess this is as good a point as any to mention the most recent Story of Seasons game, newest one as of the recording of this, uh, Pioneers of Olive Town, Ooh. which looks exactly like the 3DS Story of Seasons games, and it looks so unbelievably cheap and lazy. Yeah, but it's called Story of Seasons Poot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is! Poot! Poot. Yo, know, my opinion, play Valheim instead. You would say that. It's got farming. It's got cute animals. Valheim, I don't think I've heard of that. It's nuts. It's it's insane. It's a crazy experience. If you like Vikings and naked trolls. Oh, I recognize this one. Now this one I know. <laughs> um I know it by heart. What is happening? It could, it could be from Save the Homeland, but... Stop it! Get <laughs> back! Back up! Get back up! Back! I know it from Hero of Leaf Valley. Dude, no! <laughs> there's two! Shit. Get out of here! Get me, get the broom! Um, get I only have one broom. We're in trouble. <laughs> We've got an infestation. Good memories. Hero of Lake Valley is incredibly janky, but there's a lot of charm and a lot of good ideas to it. It nearly worked. I appreciate this. I've never seen you so nostalgic. These are clips from the Let's Play of Hero of Lake Valley. The truest anime wedding. I married the villain. Well. I don't have a clip of this because I have no idea where the music's from. <laughs> Someone had to take the wind out of that Sundari. Right? This is the funeral music from when you die at the end. <laughs> uh, right. Dressing a little traditional in respect. But now the question is... What do I do with all the stuff that I can't sell? Well, you might recall, Wong has given us the ability to sell stuff to him. We can actually sell stuff to him that we can't normally sell, and that includes Van's favorite, our trophies if we don't want them anymore, the different sons, etc. The only things we cannot sell to him are the gifts that you get from the bachelors and bachelorettes. And he buys them for a lot. That added to my bursting full wallet even more. And this is something we can actually do with the Suns. We can cook them, quote unquote, and then we can sell them to Wong. I feel like he buys them for a lot more than what the individual ingredients would be worth. 
Oh, baby. So, yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah, those where you put in a shit ton of really expensive gems, well, they sell for a shit ton. Oh, baby, that's definitely worth a mochi. Hell yeah. There we go. I, I made a million or so just off of that. We also can't sell the statues that we found in the mines. Because they're cursed. I'm going to say right now, in previous farming games, I've sold the animals near the end of the LP, so I didn't have to worry about them. I did not do that this time. I kept all the animals. Dude, you might have a riot on your hands if you did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the basic medicines, I hadn't unlocked how to cook them yet. I didn't even know you could, actually. You need to make like 10, maybe 20 recipes using honey, because the medicines use honey. Mm. Yeah, actually, I, uh, I learned how to make uh, homebrew Tylenol. After, uh, after cooking a stack of crepes. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's good. You know, the rash went away, uh, after a little while. I regained sight in my left eye. So, great success. I went all in. I made, um, graham crackers from scratch. Now I can make Sudafed. Ooh, wow. There we go, 10 million. Hey, yeah. look at that. Got that ahead of time. Buying the town villa will be the end of the LP, so we'll be doing that next time, but I wanted to get the money out of the way. Honey, pack your shit, we're moving to town. <laughs> Let's at least take a look at the capybaras for now. Look at them, look at their big faces. <laughs> <laughs> look at that big old head. <laughs> We get it. You smoke weed. Bong. <laughs> I don't know. So, something about this quote unquote post game in, uh, in in Friends of Mineral Town. It really does kind of feel like a like a dying fish. Like it's, <laughs> it's kind of gasping its last and won't go away. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. By, by the time I, I reach this point in most video games, there's a pretty strong indication that I should move on to something else. Yeah. I mean, Thorn did, you know, sort of rush everything for the purposes of showing it off. Yeah, but I mean, there wasn't, like, that much to show in year two, was there? Not too much. Not a ton to do in general, so even spread out, you're only going to make it, like, three-ish years. Yeah. I should just really love growing turnips. I guess. I mean, that's how it was in the earlier games, too, where you had basically two years to fix up the farm as best as you could, and then your dad would come and check it out and however you did, that's what you were stuck with. If you wanted a better result, then you had to start over. Mm -hmm. yeah, and the Super Nintendo won you two and a half years and you just, you were done. Like, you did not get to keep playing. And that's how we liked it. <laughs> no, 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 we didn't. We didn't like that. We wanted to keep playing. It's finality. I'm ready for capybaras. That's, that's basically it. I just, I want to, I want to see a capybara eat a treat. That's, that's my goal. <laughs> no promises. Yeah, did you say tree or treat? Treat. Don't make fun oh, I, of my accent. I heard Just because I'm foreign, okay? <laughs> Just because I'm not from around here. <laughs> so tune in next time for a capybara eating a tree. Eating a tree. Or treat. <laughs> I don't know. However they say it in Canada. Happy New Year. And happy end of Friends of Mineral Town. So final part, we're going to be rushing through year three, looking at some extra stuff. The remaining stuff that I wanted to show off. There were a few things that I didn't because I didn't care, but you'll know what they are by if you don't see them. Oh, these shit posts! I'm sure gonna <laughs> miss. My cat is finally an adult. We couldn't do this in winter because the beach was closed. But now that the cat is an adult, we can play fetch. Is it an adult? Still got, like, baby head. <laughs> They'll always have baby head, but the body is bigger. Oh, I see. So the fetch is easy. Press the button. The meter on the left will start rising up. You press the button again to stop it wherever. If it stops in the green, you'll throw it, and your pet will probably catch it. It's still randomized if your pet actually will. But the more that you do this, the greater that the green will rise up on the meter. But around the third or fourth time you do it every single day, your pet will get tired and you'll have to stop.
Yeah, you did it, baby! I do have some startling bad news about cats and frisbees. Mmm. This is obviously not a cat. Oh, okay. It's a pointy dog. Go get it, baby! Go get it! Go get it! You hey. little baby! I have no idea what specifically makes the meter larger. I don't know if it's successfully catching the frisbee or if it's just every single time that you do this, because it seems to rise pretty consistently for me. Uh, let's oh. see. <laughs> <laughs> Did that cat just call me a failure? Yep. Failure. See, now that's on brand for cats. <laughs> <laughs> that is also on brand for cats. Cats sick of your shit. Oh no, what's happened to fuckhead? Oh god! Not that fuckhead. Our fuckhead. <laughs> it's awful! 8357's grown up to be Jennifer! <laughs> oh no, this is the worst. To the clinic! Do what every parent must do. Panic. Panic and waste a doctor's time. I'm <laughs> more concerned that the baby's grown up overnight. So what happened? Did you just like unwrap the swaddling and there was a fully formed toddler? <laughs> I think the implication is she unraveled it herself and fell out. <laughs> oh good, she's molting. <laughs> she is an alien. Her natural purple skin hasn't come in yet. <laughs> I see that you knitted the hat to fit over her dealy boppers. <laughs> yeah. uh, she's adorable, though. What a little cutie. That's not a hat. That's just her head. It's a shame she's a brain-sucking alien. It is hilarious watching her crawl, though. Her animation is so fast. Just wait till she starts doing it across the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> no. I forgot that's what we named her. So when you opened the menu the first time, I thought that was some sort of baby score. <laughs> hey, that's a lot of baby points. So you come here at 10 a.m. He will actually tell you the theme. From there, you can go home and actually cook something. So this theme is bread. I made some French toast, and I think I used a golden egg. So hopefully I have a good chance here. So I did do this twice, because the first time I failed, go figure. But it's because I was able to, this thing is really stupid. You're not able to submit an entry that doesn't fit the theme, but sometimes you can submit an entry that doesn't fit the theme. Mm. Like the first two times that I did this, the first one failed. But in that time, Lilia won. She just made raisin bread, which is shoving grapes into pre-made bread. <laughs> oh, Karen. You tried. She's like, no, this isn't food. This is evidence. Something's going on in this town. I swear it. I'm not crazy. <laughs> But have you tried a really good French toast? <laughs> what the hell? It's so good it launched him. Good, maybe he won't come back. <laughs> I did it! Ugh. Not again. Why does this keep happening? And... I got nothing for it. Yay! Well, Oh, look at her, though. She's like a little flesh-eating angel. All right, let's finally actually see the fetch fest. Get out of the way. It's the same rules as before. And remember, it's randomized if your pet will actually catch the frisbee, even if it's within their limits. So work with me here, fuckhead. You troublesome Let's... little cat? Hey, yeah. that's a good one. Oh, you little baby. 
That's good. Some hustle from those little leggies. All right, not bad. Let's see how we did. I guess we just automatically win. Yay. You participated. You have no idea what you're actually competing against, which that tracks with every other animal festival, so. Hey! There we go, that's the final power berry. I thought we got it in the cow festival, but no. Three hundred stamina. I feel complete. Yeah, you better run. Oh, come on. Come on, babies. What What even's happening? Hey, ooh. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, they've melded. I think this is like some kind of mating ritual. Young Sandwich is utterly fearless. Either that or she can't see anything because her face is buried in the <laughs> other chicken. I think they just live here now. Hmm. This is a titanic struggle for the ages. Maybe it's like those extra fluffy cats and the actual chicken is just really small inside of all the chicken feather fluff. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ah, freedom. Ha ha! Get off my property. Hmm. We love our murder chicken. Yeah. Little chicken shrine to my wife, I guess. All right. I guess one more, Kath. <laughs> the end. It doesn't let you actually put in spaces, so it, it's just going to be themed. We love you, young themed. I can hear you desperately hammering on the space bar. <laughs> <laughs> Little 8-3 is starting budding. Comes in on a battle walker. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, Soon she'll be able to non launch a nuclear warhead from anywhere. <laughs> a baby to surpass Metal Gear? <laughs> <laughs> Look at her stumble around like a zombie. That's not walking. That's <laughs> creeping. Yeah. We have less abysmal odds than we did last time. That's bad, though. There you go. Because that way you're no longer uh, the dark horse, as it were. I guess you don't really need the money, though. No, <laughs> this is just for fun. This is just to dominate everybody. <laughs> I think Burrito's trying to tell you about his upcoming cardiac event. <laughs> My heart's gonna blow up! I've been eating plenty of beans! No, that's a Fardiac event. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Fluffiest, there is no way you can lose. That is, that is the fluffiest. Fluffiest, you, you god rabbit! <laughs> Hear his mighty call! <laughs> Give me my fluffy trophy. Mm. Oh ho! Tiny handed weirdo. <laughs> Hooray! Way to go, Fluffist. Finally won every animal festival. Took three years. Congratulations, God Rabbit. How do you feel losing the festival? Better luck next time, Disco Sheep. Mm. This is Maria's book. I don't have anywhere to put it, though. Throw it on the pile with the others and get back to work. You can go here. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's, uh, it's for baby. Eat my shorts, Yodel Ranch. <laughs> it's the Pumpkin Festival, which means basically Halloween. Oh, 
baby. Now that it's winter of year three, there is something new that can be found at the very bottom of the spring mine. Get out of town. It only shows up now. Eventually it occurs to me maybe I should be breaking the rocks for it. There we go, new tool, the Travel Stone. I can now teleport anywhere I want. And with the Travel Stone, you can now go to the lake mine at any season. Oh, that's cool. Fancy. You can see because there's a little platform right out front of it. Super nice. Very useful in this last single season that I spent in the game. Shut up. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 no. None of that. No, no. No, 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 no. No. There's peels in that. Peels are garbage, not food. Sunny winter 15th. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Mm -hmm. A large rodent with short brown fur. <laughs> ah, no wonder you identify with them so much. Yeah, hey! It's us. Uh, there wasn't enough space for Skip Yummy, but... So, Look at that! Gonna be Skip Yum. Look at that, Yami. Now we're fused inside of the capybara. <laughs> Not again. Yeah, well, you know. I'll get the pliers. That's the last time I freaky Friday with you, sir. <laughs> He's so small. He's just a little baby. <gasps> he goes a little peep. Is he having a beep? He has a peep. Oh, he's having a beep. <laughs> okay, that was worth the wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's just hooking into my veins. <laughs> now give oh, him his that's tree. The shit. He needs his tree. Oh. Ah, oh, he's having a beep. <laughs> Biscuit. Oh, little beeps. <laughs> oh, young man. Ah. Oh. Bless his miniature bumbles, that's just fine. His tiny virtual bumbles. <laughs> Watch as Beth contemplates the capybara. I'm just appreciating him. It's accurate, you know, he just kind of sits there, having a beep. He needs a little hot spring, though. Having a little dance? Oh! oh he's popcorning. Oh, bless him. Oh, time for the big finale. Time for the big finale. Hey, Gots. I've come into a little bit of money. He knocks it up really fast. Well, that's what you get with these prefabs. Yeah, no worries. I'll just uh, frame up a whole house in a jiff. Yep. With my saw. Just saw in the snow. It is time. Yeah, master. A traditional breakfast of an entire crew today. Yeah, you know, it's lots of lots of fiber. Yay! Here we go. Best second house. It's just so everyone knows. Third one by this point. Oh, that's right. Bourgeois as hell. So this is it, huh? Yep, it's got a little bit more in it than the beach villa. That it has a TV and a fireplace, but that's it. That's all that's new. I would not want to live in a single bedroom house with a grandfather clock. Now we finish up with the Dark Souls thing where you kill all the NPCs. <laughs> nope. 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 No more math. Math is over. We're done with quizzes, thanks. More capybara. You hey. little baby. Beep. <laughs> Beep, beep. <laughs> oh, little man. 
<laughs> that was creepy. I pulled it out slightly slower than usual. Mm, just to make sure that Young8357 saw you do it. <laughs> but there we go, everyone. That's the end of Friends of Mineral Town. As far as Harvest Moon and related games that are readily available, this feels like the ideal of the classic form for these games. Yeah, it is definitely the height of the classic Harvest Moon games before things started getting weird and they split off. Yeah. And then Stardew ate everyone's lunch. Mm. Yeah, it was kind of played at breakneck pace, but if you like Harvest Moon farming games, this is probably worth picking up. That was very delightful. It had a sufficient mass of cuties to keep my interest, which is really all I'm looking for. Yeah. It was nice to see it, because after all the time I put into the Game Boy version, I don't think I'd want to play through it again. But it was <laughs> nice to see you know, what they did with it, what they kept, what they changed. Yeah, this absolutely, I think, was the right way for people like me to experience it. People who do not have the patience yeah. for what this game requires of us. And genuinely, like this was one of the more fun LPs that we've done in a while. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, it was nice. It, it helps. Uh, like, something like Graveyard Keeper is trying to have a sense of humor. It's really trying. And it's saying, hey, you you take a backseat to me and my hilarious jokes. Me, Graveyard Keeper. Whereas this is just these story of seasons games are just content to exist and be absurd. But in an, <laughs> an endearing kind of way. Yeah, they're, they're, very, they're very comfortable games. Yes. But. That's going to do it for Friends of Mineral Town. Thank you two for joining me once again. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. And we'll see you all in whatever comes next. Bye. Peep peep. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake.